Hello YouTube, my name is Ahmed Ghassan. Today I'm going to show you how to update your device, your iPhone from iOS 9 or iOS 10 to iOS 11.1.2 using SHSH. The requirement, of course, saved SHSH file for 11.1.2. Also, you should have iPhone, uh, jailbroken iPhone and computer running Windows and of course internet connection. You should download on your device on your iPhone from Cydia, M Terminal, and Filza. And also, you you must uh, open this link on your Safari on your iPhone and install it by Filza. Okay, now on your laptop, you should download Future Restore tool and download 11.2.6. We will we will need some we will need some files from it. And also download the firmware 11.1.2. So I'm gonna showing you how to download it from this from this website. For example, I will choose iPhone 6s. Okay, download 11.2.6 and download also 11.1.2. Okay, after that, go to your SHSH file on your laptop let me show you my SHS file and open with you can open it with wordpad or notepad it doesn't matter okay now find where is find this one find write string and click find next not the first not the second the third one which is start with 0x 0x you should copy this code, take it copy, and paste it or save it on a safe place. You will need it later on. So let me save it. Okay. Save. After that, open your M terminal on your iPhone and write this commands be and be careful the first command is su the password alpine third one nv batch and then the four the the number four nv batch dot uh, nv batch space com dot apple dot capital s system on capital s dot boot and then nodes the la the the next one nv ram dot com dot apple dot capital s system dot boot nouns equal to now put there in this place on your iPhone also as as I said on M terminal let me show you after nouns okay then on your iPhone write this code which is taken from the SHSH file on your iPhone as I told you like that after that write nvram space slash p or minus p okay after that you will need the firmware 11.2.6 as I said now go to your iPhone on your, on your laptop 11.2.6 we will need some files from it so you should open it with WinRAR for one time only close this and then okay now we are opening 11.2.6 now open new file open new file and take the file the th three files from this firmware the first one is build manifest.plist copy it to there the second file is on firmware and then the first one, which is end.bbfw, you will take it and copy it and paste it there. The, the third file is on all flash. Go down. The first SEP, the first file, with this, uh, start with SEP firmware and end with .im4p. You should copy it and paste it there. That's it. Now close this. We have three files now. Okay, now 
as I said like that now take this three files copy it make a copy and go to the future future restore file extract it here first now go to your future restore file and paste it there paste the three files the three files okay now also you will need 11.1.2 which you will upgrade it to take a copy for it and go to future restore file and paste it again paste it again here. now it will take some time a little bit no problem now also we need shz file you will rename it to blob dot shsh2 okay copy it close this no need for it okay now go to future restore again paste it here okay so on future restore folder three files this you should copy it and paste it on future restore file and shsh and the firmware 11.1.2 you should have it inside the file okay now finishing we, we will wait until finishing the moving from uh, moving the, the firmware 11.1.2 we should wait until it's finished okay okay Done. Now open from start. You should search for S CMD and run it as run as administrator. Click yes. Now go to your future restore file. Go there and copy this. Go it down. Now write CD space and paste the this one. Okay. Now write future future restore okay now it's showing the program now write this co last command now make sure your device is uh, connected with your laptop and write future space dot p globe dot copy it okay just paste it there after sss space and then write minus p minus p space now go to your bbfw first one just copy the name where is bbfw this one just copy the name select it all copy it and paste it there then space and then after bbfw minus p dot p list okay now write space and minus p space and go to the p list folder this one just copy the name as i told you okay paste then space and then let me see what else now the sep write minus s space now go to your SEP folder or file, just copy the name, select all, which is end with IM4P, just copy the name. Okay, now after the space, you should paste this and then space. After the SEP, what, what I should have, okay, minus M, minus M and space. Also, you have, again, build manifest.plist okay let me copy it again selecting all copy now right okay now space and then yes we have the ipsw folder we should have the name let me take it rename just copy it okay just paste it again and now write uh, dot IPSW. 
Now I cannot uh, have the, I I don't have the iPhone, but it will work with you when you connect your device. Now enter. I don't have the device, but when you connect your device, as an example with me, but when you connect your device, uh, it will work. It will take a lot, uh, around uh, 15 minutes to to finish. That's it for today. I hope I helped you with this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Just last thing I should uh, mention it. When it's when 11.2.6 uh, is closed, you cannot use this method. Thanks for watching and bye bye.